Welcome to Mimi's Math Channel. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use decimals for matrices. For example, one, I'm asked to evaluate the determinants of a matrix, and this is the information that I'm going to input in Desmos, and this is what the answer should be. You can either go to desmos.com and go to Math Tools and select Matrix Calculator, or you can just type in desmos.com backslash matrix. So the first thing you have to do is press New Matrix, and then we're going to put the information in that we had on the screen, which was 10 9, negative 8, and 3. And I want to press the arrow key. I can either press this one or the one on my keyboard. And then you can press enter on your keyboard, or you can press this enter. And now you want the determinant. So you're going to press DET, and you need to tell it which matrix you want. We call this one A, so we're going to select A, and it automatically populates for us. So the answer was, in fact, 102. So for example, 2, we are asked to solve the system using matrices. This is the coefficient matrix. These are the variables X, Y, and Z, and these are the constants. I am going to put matrix A and matrix B in Desmos. So the first thing I need to do is hit clear two times, and then I'm going to go to new matrix, and I need to select a dimension. So we had a three by three, so three rows and three columns. On the first row, we had one, one, negative two, and then on the next row, we had zero, one, negative three, and on the last row, zero, five, negative two. And I want to go to the the next row. So I'm going to hit enter and I want to type in a new matrix, which is going to be B. It automatically gave me the name. And this time I want it to be a three by one matrix. So I'm going to change this to three and the columns to one. And I'm going to input the information in negative six, negative 10 and negative 11. Now I'm going to press enter. And what's happening when I'm doing systems is I'm multiplying both sides by the inverse of A. So this one is going to go away. This is what I'm typing in the calculator for Desmos. I want A inverse times B. So I'm going to select A and then hit the inverse button, multiplication, and then select B. It automatically populates for me, which is one, negative one, and three. All right. Thumbs up, subscribe. Have an awesome day.